What, what is up, up Rec Tech family? Country Club. It is Tuesday afternoon. It is a beautiful day in Augusta, Georgia. I got my man Chef Greg on the grill making some Stromboli's. I hope y'all are ready. Get that pad, get that pin out. Country Club on the ones and two. I'm Chef Greg, your director of culinary innovation, and today we got a special guest on the ones and twos. He had a little hiatus from the ones and twos for a while. We stepped up our tech game since then, but none other than Ben, country club marshal on the ones and twos, throwing it down, going old school. So show country club some love in the comments down below. Hearts, wows, any and all questions and comments you guys have, make sure you guys type down below, because my man, country club. Is going to do one of these. And, and let, let me know, know when you guys got a question. question. And that way we can communicate because that's how we roll around here. You know I'm here for you, Greg. I mean, I appreciate that, buddy. And uh, we might call him Punch every now and then. He very much dislikes that as well. But don't worry. Stay tuned. We're going to have a fantastic show today. All week long, we're going to show you guys easy peasy, super simple recipes. And I know we get a lot of questions for calzones and stromboli and pizza. Today I'm going to show you the easiest, hands down, easiest way to make a world-class, classic Italian stromboli using ingredients you can pick up at the grocery store any night of the week. I don't care how busy you are, you can make a stromboli any night of the week. So, but first I got to uh, wet my whistle with a nice cold beer. Country Club, any good questions coming in? Seems like we're having a little bit of trouble with the audio. Don't worry, guys. We're going to get it fixed. All right, just comment down below. Can you hear us? Can you see us? Let us know. They're saying they're hearing us. Maybe just a slight echo. I'm going to see if I can get on that. All right. But let's uh, let's go on with the show, and I'll see if I can get that fixed. We will figure it out, because if anybody can figure it out, my man Country Club can. So not only is he a wizard when it comes to editing, also a pretty avid hunter. You might have seen a video we did with him at the uh, Rec Tech Ranch when Country Club harvested his first deer. That guy was super excited and um, for sure. But we have a pizza dough. We picked this up at the local grocery store. Super simple. This is a 15 ounce dough. And you could stretch this out to make a 20 inch pie. Okay. Really, really simple. All we're going to do is grab some flour so it's not sticky. Okay. And we're just going to kind of put some flour. Oh, it's kind of windy. Be careful with that. So we're just going to put some flour on that. And then we're going to turn it out on a board. Not just any board. The cutting board you pick up at Rec Tech Academy. So Country Club, any love for Strombolis out there? I believe we've got a couple people that are going to be into this episode. I dig it. This is... This is on one of my favorites. Uh, for sure, man. All right, so I'm not going to throw the dough because you're not going to throw the dough. I'm making it how you're going to make it at the house, okay? You can throw the dough if you want to throw the dough, but it's kind of windy. I don't feel like getting frosted with flour. So all we're going to do is kind of roll this out into kind of more of like a rectangle type shape, okay? I'm not really going to worry about getting it perfect, okay? We're cooking at the house. We're cooking for family. We're cooking for loved ones. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to pick it up and kind of stretch it with my hands to kind of make it more of like a, an oval, okay? You want to get it pretty thin. And if you put a hole in it, don't worry, okay? It's not going to hurt anything. And I like big strombolis, okay? You can give a little wiggle if you want. Kevin Burkhart says he loves some strombolis. That's what I'm saying. All right, so I told you I like big strombolis. Okay, so you can see this is kind of like a, an oval. Is it perfect? No. Does it matter? No. Is it going to be delicious? Shoot, yeah. All right, so Country Club. Yes, sir. In your Stromboli, do you happen to know the difference? And we're going to put you on, on spot today. Oh, man, don't So do Country that. Club, do you know the difference between a Stromboli and a Calzone? And maybe you know, give my boy Country Club a little help and comment down below if you know the difference between a Stromboli and a Calzone. 
We had now, a little educational session earlier. I, I don't believe, know if he was I believe the stromboli is just like basically a pizza that's rolled up. A calzone is like something that you basically stuff, correct? Or you are pretty darn close. So a stromboli is rolled, whereas a calzone is folded. Strombolis also has sauce, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of prefer a calzone. But that's just how I want to live the rectech lifestyle. That's it. Store bought dough, store bought sauce. We got to rectechify it. We got that Colden's freaking Greek. I'm telling you, so good. Herbs, salt, pepper, nutmeg. Just kind of go, go ham. All right, first layer, hot cap. You've heard me use hot cap a lot. Capicola is what I'm talking about. I like the spicy capicola. I don't even know if they make not spicy capicola, but I like the spicy capicola. You can fill this with any and all of your favorite toppings. So if you want to put some vegetables in there, some bell peppers, some banana peppers, however you want to live the Rectech lifestyle. Now, Greg, I'm not big on the greens all over my pizza and all my bowlies, man. I need I need my proteins in there. So you, you you're down with the meats. Oh yeah. I'm down big, with that too. Big protein guy. All right, I'm gonna put one layer of Genoa salami right here. And again, you could use any and all of your favorite toppings, pepperoni, whatever. It don't matter because it's gonna be delicious. All right, mozzarella. Go to the deli, get them to slice it for you. Well worth it. You don't want to use the shredded here. You'll see why here in a little bit. But let me know and let Country Club know what your favorite stromboli toppings are. Got a lot of people asking whether or not you, you could use sauce or no sauce in a stromboli. Is that... I mean, you could, you could no sauce it if you want. That's fine. But, I mean, we're going to show you the classic way to do it. Okay? Now I'm going to come back over here. More, more Genoa salami. Why? Because it's delicious. So I kind of got like a meat, a cheese, and a meat thing going on. You want to kind of alternate your uh, your layers. Greg, I think people are loving it. We got people tagging other people what? in the comments just to That's make sure they get I'm the recipe about. down. And then we got some delicious provolone. But we're not done yet. Because we haven't busted out the prosciutto yet, which to me is the king of all meats when it comes to Italian sandwiches and strombolis. And they put this between some nice uh, paper here, so boom. Nice and thin. Bada bing, bada boom. Now this is very similar to how we do our Italian stuff fatties, and instead of rolling this in sausage, if you're living that keto lifestyle, we can wrap it up in that delicious pizza dough. This can be made like the morning of, wrap it up, put it in the fridge. I mean, we've only been live for like eight minutes, maybe less. Country Club, I see you got that question. What you got for him, buddy? I do, man. Gerald Campbell asks, are these lunch break videos available in written form? Where can they find that, Greg? God, you, you are on it today, Country Club. On it. We're not even at that point in the show when you're already asking that question. All right, guys, jump over to rectech.com slash lunch break. Put your email address in there, and we will delicately insert this delicious recipe and all of the recipes from all of our uh, lunch break segments into your inbox. You can print them out and save and create your own little digital Rectech cookbook if you want. God, Country Club, that's fantastic. And, you know, we'll just get there right now. If you guys want to know the latest and greatest of what's going on here at Rectech, go ahead and join us, uh, our newsletter. You can find that at the bottom of any uh, page on the website. Go ahead and put your email address in there, and we, we won't bombard you with emails, just important ones, okay? Country Club, I think this is looking pretty good. I'm going to put another little layer of, uh, of provolone down here. Mm. Because provolone, I think my it's, favorite cheese. I think it's that time of the, I think it's that time. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to roll this bad boy up, okay? So you're just going to grab it, kind of fold it over, just like that. And then mm. we're going to roll it. And then we're going to roll it. And then we're going to roll it. And then you get to the bottom here, we'll kind of just pull that up, okay? Boom. Put the seam on the bottom, then take the ends here, 
and you just kind of like tuck. That's it. That's it. Boom, you made a stromboli. Now, this will feed like one country club or like a family of four. At least one country He's club. He's a growing boy. All right, so what I like to do is big fan of the perforated cookie sheet. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stromboli, go bloop, just like that. The holes are not going to obstruct any airflow. Now I come over the top here with a little bit of olive oil. Kind of rub it in for some golden brown delicious. Just like that. And this is also going to act like a binder for something. Now, Country Club, we yes, put some sir. of that freaking Greek on the inside. Ooh. What say you we kind of make like a little garlicky herb bread topping crust on the thing? You know I'm all about that flavor, Greg. Let's go ahead and do it. That's what I'm saying. Get I'm you that Colton's freaking Greek. Elevate it. And just, just rectify it. Just like that. It's that simple. But maybe you got a family of six or eight. Or maybe you got a couple country clubs at your house. <laughs> Get you a second dough and repeat the process. It's that simple. Country club, what you got, buddy? Now, I believe maybe this is what you were explaining with the vents on the bottom of the pan there, but Susan Thompson asked, do you need to vent the dough? I'm assuming she means, like, on the pan there. So sometimes you're going to dock your dough. You can either use a dough docker, which is kind of like a rolling pin with uh, pegs on it. You can use a fork. Since this is rolled, I'm not worried about air bubbles so much, okay? But great question. If you're doing pizza, um, and if you've made fresh pizza before, and sometimes, especially in that thinner, you know, New York style, you get that big, uh, that big bubble. That happens when you need to dock your dough. And you can grab a fork and just give it a poke around, um, but, or you can use a dough docker. Would that cooking mat do the same effect as that pan? Now, you want to be careful with the cooking mat, though, because sometimes th that mesh mat's a little soft. The dough, if it's uh, really warm, can almost sink into the holes, whereas this is, uh, with especially with the oil in there. Now, if you're really concerned with uh, any stickage, just grab uh, some oil and kind of put it underneath. You can spray it with uh, your favorite non-stick spray. But... <laughs> I got a peek. I got a peek at that. Oh, okay. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. But... Tony, you can make anything on a rec tech. And this is easy. Like, you don't need to be a chef. You don't need to be a country club. Anybody can do this. Great job for the kids. You can even do this if you want, like with a uh, crescent roll dough, if you want to just make something really simple. I think Julie's making pizza this week at the house, well, maybe Wednesday or Thursday when I'm working late, because we've got an academy this weekend. And if you guys are on the fence about Rec Tech Academy... We do have a couple tickets available for this weekend's academy. Go ahead and shoot me an email at chefgreg at rectech.com if you want to join us for Rectech Academy. Starts Thursday. It's going to be a blast. And um, if, if you've got the availability, join us because it's going to be a blast. Shoot me an email and we'll, uh, we'll give you a hand with that ticket here. But I'm going to go ahead and make one more real quick stromboli. I used a lot of the meats up, but hey, that's okay. Now, Greg, people are also uh, asking about this dough. Yeah. Where are you finding this in the uh, grocery store? So you, you find it in the frozen? You no, know, if you go back by your uh, your deli area or the bakery, a lot of times they'll have that dough out there for you. Um, you can ask them as well. Um, you know, they'll get it for you. You can always find it if you look by the crescent roll aisle. Sometimes they have pizza dough that's in tube fashion. Again, equally as delicious. All right, let's go. Let's go heavy on the prosciutto, because uh, you know this is the this mm. is the highfalutin Stromboli right here. Okay, this is gonna be like the the fourteen ninety nine version. Um, but if you want to do a calzone, just kind of roll it out, put some ricotta cheese in there, and you basically fold it over the top. But I mean, let me know if you think you guys could execute the Stromboli. I think it's pretty simple. Okay, it doesn't require you to really make anything. Just play with your food. That's it. And who doesn't like to play with their food? Oh, man, I love prosciutto. Wrap it in melon. Good stuff. We got a lot of people just now tuning in, Greg. You want to go over maybe what we're doing, maybe some time and temps as you well? You got it, buddy. All right, so all week long on RecTech Lunch Break, we are doing easy peasy, super simple recipes. And I figured we get a lot of questions around folks trying to make strombolis and calzones. 
that I would show you how I do it at the house. Uh, we've got the RT700 rolling at 450 degrees, burning those delicious Kingsford hickory pellets. I want this to be a really robust flavor to it, and those Kingsford hickory pellets are going to do just that. Oh, man. Oh, man. A little freaking Greek. And all we're going to do is just roll this up. Okay? Flop it over. Flop it over. Flop it over. Flop it over. Something tells me you've done that before, Greg. Seal Maybe a time ends. or two. I mean, it ain't my first rodeo, Country Club. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to grab a little oil on there so there's no stickage. Take that Stromboli. Bada boom. A little olive oil on the top. Ooh, shoot ya. I mean, it mm. doesn't have to be pretty because it's going to be delicious. We're going to top it off with that Colton's freaking Greek, just like that. And I can smell the one behind me because this can take about 20 minutes. And you've been watching me for right about 20 minutes because we start a little bit late. All right, come on in here. Come on in here, Sherps. Get on in here, Sherp. Look at that right there. Look at that Stromboli. Ooh, Golden, brown, Boy. delicious. We had a little leakage out the side, but hey, that is okay. Because it's going to be delicious. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. And I don't mind that because that cheese gets good and crispy. Look at that. Ooh, Just save that please. part for me, Greg. No, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, oh man, come on. You gotta be at least this tall to ride this ride. You're shorter than me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There we go. And take that crispy cheese. That's the best part right there. Oh man, that hot cap. Woo! Just like that. It's that simple. Now what you don't want to do is be a buffoon and dive right into this, because it's not ready yet. Because it's got to cool down. Twenty minutes, four hundred degrees. That RT seven hundred crushed it now listen that's music you're about to start a beat Crispy, over there greg we're about to be golden the next greatest brown, band and if you wanted extra sauce you can heat that up on the side but for me i'm not a sauce guy in fact i kind of despise red sauce i'm that you know northern italian kind of guy good stuff let me clean up my little uh my mess here when it gets windy out here it's really hard to season food i'm just going to throw that out there you can't season and use flour when it's windy outside. It's terrible. Terrible. Stromboli. It's literally six ingredients. It takes five minutes to prep, 20 minutes to cook. You can do this any night of the week. Reach out to your grocery store. Buy those doughs that have already been rolled out. You can use crescent dough. They've got them in tubes, packages, all over by the, uh, uh, the eggs and yogurt area of the grocery store. Super simple. I mean... Why go to the, the pizzeria and spend, you know, $22 on a, on a Stromboli when you can do it yourself? And like that last one, we put $20 of prosciutto in there. That would have cost us $60 at the store. Like. Greg always goes after them high-end meats now. I, I mean, you know what? It's how I live my Rectech lifestyle. Okay? If you're going to do it, just go ahead and get the best, man. I mean, man. grow don't, big don't or go settle. home. Everybody else is playing for a second. You, you know, this ain't no game, Country Club. Oh, this no. This ain't no game. Oh, no. It's never a game. It's never a game. Not never around a here. Game. We've got some funny questions mm. about working here. People are asking if to work here, do you have to have a nickname? I saw one earlier. How did I Absolutely. get my nickname? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you so want to tell them the story of how I got my nickname? Um, so there is a local establishment here called the Country Club, and it isn't open anymore. It might be open a part-time, but apparently Mr. Marshall frequented said Country Club. That is not true. I did yes. not frequent. No. Just somebody, got caught there somebody, one time. No. no. He had been – he had been uh, – Seen in this establishment, <laughs> kind of sketchy, okay? And uh, they were like, oh, yeah, that's the guy from the country club. And then country club is a little long when you need to, like, get stuff done, so I just shortened it to cunch, right? Then every time I see him every morning, I do what? I serenade him. Yeah. I go, she gone country. She gone. <laughs> and he hates it. But it's fantastic. And I'm for three for years now, song. for three years now, that's how we roll. But, yeah, we've got a Sherp. We've got a country club. It's how we roll around here. All right, so think about back to what we roll around here. We got to roll the Stromboli. All right. Sorry to digress. So if you're gonna if you're gonna serve this up, just kind of slice it up into Sammys. Ooh. And and go for it. Here we go. Ready? 
Look, oh, look. Look at that right there. The cheese, mm. the meat. That's what you want right there. Oh, man. The goopy goop. Look at and that, that bread oh in the middle buddy. is cooked. That is so good. We're just going to keep slicing because usually Chef John's got to get in here. But since we got that guest host, Mr. Cunch, oh, man, like mm. that right there. There we go again. The mozzarella, the provolone, the hot cap, the prosciutto, the salami. You can honestly put anything in here. Now, I love, I love putting some pickled banana peppers in there. Maybe some caramelized onions. Maybe some smoked mushrooms. Anything you like can go in here. Blank canvas, okay? I'm a meat and cheese kind of guy. Hey, that's how I roll. You might want to put some vegetables in there. That's fine. It's up to you. Country Club, you ready to burn your frenulum? Is it frenulum burning time? Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let me slide on over here. Ooh. Here, I'll give you this towel. I get a towel? You're, yeah, you're, you're going to need it. And you're going to you're gonna burn your frenulum. So All just, right, just hold that and be patient. All right. No, patience. I got to get mine. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, we cheers on this thing? Well, I mean, look at the cheese here, man. Like, Ooh. Buddy, this is but a I'm gonna, hot. But I'm going to kind of wrap it up. Oh, man. All right, cheers, hot. Country Club. Cheers to you, my guy. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Solid. Solid. A little crunchy on the outside with that dough. You got a hot cap and that cheese, that mach. The freaking Greek on the outside? Now, that Greek is definitely. I know you're a bar barstool sports kind of guy. I am. Okay, I know El Presidente out there has got that pizza review. One bite, everybody knows Ooh. the rules. Okay, right. now this is not a cheese pizza. That's right, it's not. But on Stromboli scale? Should we just start a Stromboli review? I think it's a solid 9 2. I'm going in strong. Ooh, I might wow. be partial. You, I mean, you did make it, so I mean, I would I would expect you to be a little proud of your work, a little, mm -hmm. you know. Ah, uh, one bite. Greg, Greg, that's a solid. That's a solid eight point one. Eight one. Eight one. Okay, I, I gotta mean, give you an eight one. Uh, this is I his last time on lunch break. <laughs> so um, just go ahead and comment down below, hashtag no more country club. Um, effective immediately, he is kicked off the show. He's going to be banished upstairs. He's going to be demoted from doing YouTube videos. Come on now, Greg. Come He's on He's going to do videos on, like, Vine or something. I don't know. That's an honest review. That's an honest review. But, uh, guys. I can't take it back. That's okay. <laughs> super simple. Make a stromboli. Meat, cheese, sauce. I mean, super easy to do. You don't need to make a dough. Don't overcomplicate it. Just get that Rectech, some good pellets, like those Kingsford Hickory pellets. Fire that bad boy up to 400 degrees. Mm. Mm. I mean, absolutely delicious. Any other comments before we shut it down, Country Club? Because we've got to get finished setting up for Rectech and Fat... You know what? If he wants to come here eat some pizza, I, I will. I will make him a pizza. That's, that's, the, that's the next thing. We got to invite. This is an official invitation to Barstool Fred right now. Because I'm calling you out, Dave. I'm calling you out, buddy. Come on down to Augusta. I know you're here Masters Week. Swing on by Rectech HQ. I will blow your mind with some delicious food. Mind blown. But we got a busy week. We got Rectech Academy this week. We have a couple seats uh, remaining. We had some last minute cancellations. So if you guys want to join us, Rectech Academy. This weekend starts Thursday. Go ahead and shoot an email, chefgreg at rectech.com. We'll get you in here. You're going to have a blast. Three days of hands-on barbecue instruction with world-class pitmasters. You will not be thirsty. You will not be hungry. You will literally, your mind will explode with the amount of information and education you're going to get. It's going to be a fantastic time. But from everybody here at the Rectech World.